Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. Let's take a look at the next Pacific storm. Yeah, another weekend storm is in the works. Uh, behind me is the latest precipitation forecast for this upcoming weekend, March 30, 31st. We're gonna talk about that. Okay, this is where we've been so far. You can clearly see on the right-hand side that coastal areas of California, Oregon have been wetter than normal. So they've already seen their annual rainfall and especially the areas in blue are much above normal. Now inland areas, deserts and mountains could still use some rainfall this rainy season. On the left-hand side is the atmospheric rivers to date. And I also listed at the bottom uh, the actual storms, uh, whether they were atmospheric rivers or not that affected Southern California. Okay, here are the highlights. A Pacific storm will slowly approach the West Coast on Thursday and Friday, and this will be key to the amount of rainfall we get on Saturday. The wind will increase ahead of it, but the rain will move in Friday night, Santa Barbara first, and then down the coast to LA, San Diego on Saturday. And the rain could be heavy at times, uh, at least moderate uh, on Saturday with showers, intermittent rain lingering on Sunday. One to two inches of rain is expected, uh, widespread, uh, locally more on the mountain slopes that face the ocean. And then in the deserts, about a half inch or less, uh, but we will see some significant rain in parts of our deserts. It's a slow moving storm, uh, so that'll really be the key to how much rain falls along the coast and valleys. Uh, the main storm is on top of us on Sunday, uh, so we do see the threat for additional showers Sunday, um, breaks in the rain, and even a threat for thunderstorms. Uh, lingering showers as late as Monday, uh, though it starts to dry out quickly because the winds go towards the north, uh, north to south, so offshore flow. High confidence of rain on Saturday, as shown here. Uh, it's a matter of how much rain on Saturday. So Saturday does look like a washout at this time. Across the state, uh, you can see it's rather evenly distributed, unlike early February or other storms we had. Uh, anywhere along the coast in California, one to two inches of rain. Um, and not a lot more in the mountains, uh, but a little bit more in the mountains. You look at Southern California only, you can see that one to two inches zoomed up. Most of this occurring on Saturday, but keep in mind there still will be rain showers, isolated thunderstorms with a colder air, lower snow levels on Sunday. The excessive rainfall outlook was issued, and it does highlight the area from Santa Barbara all the way down to San Diego, yellow shaded. Uh, so we could see some rainfall that's just too much and results in some urban flooding. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's not unusual to get a storm in late March, uh, but these areas uh, will see the main brunt of the storm. The wind will pick up as early as Thursday. So we're looking at windy conditions in our mountains, and especially our mountain passes and desert slopes Thursday into Friday ahead of the storm on shore flow. This is the outlook. So the area of concern is Saturday, which could linger into Sunday with additional rain on top of the widespread one to two inches of rain. Uh, so the main wind and rain and storm looks to be uh, during the day on Saturday. This is what's going to bring the rain and the atmospheric river. Slow moving storm moves down the coast starting on Friday. You can see it's pointed into central California. By Friday night, it doesn't move a whole lot, but it does sink south. Uh, so it starts bringing the rain into Santa Barbara. Uh, on Saturday, then it turns the corner, starts to swing across LA, San Diego. So that's why Saturday looks so wet. That yellow line is the jet stream where the atmospheric river will be aligned up with. That doesn't move much Saturday night, so we got to watch it closely on Saturday with slow movement of widespread rain along the coast valleys and moving up from the southwest into our mountain areas. Now, the main storm itself, the cold air, um, that settles over us on Sunday. And so the atmospheric river in the main jet stream is east of us on Sunday. But we're still in that unstable air for showers and even the threat for a thunderstorm. And then of course the lower snow levels on Sunday. This is the atmospheric river component. You can see it comes in Friday night uh, to the Santa Barbara and LA area and then starts to shift across Orange County and San Diego sometime on Saturday as shown here. Now it's slow moving on Saturday, so that's when we'll have to watch it closely and see if it intensifies or remains the same strength uh, with the upper level winds pushing it into our area. 
So the main storm is slow moving, so that can cause the atmospheric river to be slow moving on Saturday into Saturday night, as shown here. All right, we are looking at the potential for more active weather in the west uh, for the first week of April. The first storm looks like it's going to track across the Great Basin in early April. And then we got to watch kind of what we call a split flow with a part of the Pacific moisture coming into Southern California potentially later in that week, around the 8th or 9th. Uh, so that's why you see the, the widespread, a little bit above normal potential across the Great Basin and even Southern California. Uh, so we do get a nice break, though, uh, after the storm this weekend. Uh, and like I said, more of a split flow with one storm moving to our east across the Great Basin. But then another one may come into Southern California as we get uh, past the first week in April. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.